to our craft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own tie-dye t-shirts from items in your own kitchen. Let's go ahead and get started. You will need food coloring, a measuring cup, water bottles, Ziploc bag, white vinegar, rubber bands, gloves, a white shirt, a bowl, a towel, and a push pin. You're gonna need to mix one part water with one part vinegar. I did four cups of water and four cups of vinegar each. Then you're gonna take your white t-shirt and soak it fully in that mixture. You're gonna need to let your shirt sit in this mixture for about one hour. As your shirt's soaking, you're gonna take a needle and poke a hole in the top of the water bottle. You will do this for each bottle for each color that you'll be making. Now go ahead and put on your gloves to get ready to mix your dye. First thing you're gonna do is pour a half a cup of water in your measuring cup, and then you're gonna pour that water into one of your water bottles. You're gonna do a half a cup of water for each water bottle of dye. Now you would take your food coloring and put at least eight drops in one of your water bottles. The more drops that you put into your water, the darker your dye will be. You're gonna do this for each of your water bottles to create each of your colors. Now put your finger over the top of the water bottle and shake to mix up your colors. Now that it's been an hour, you're gonna go ahead and take your t-shirt out of the vinegar and water mixture and wring it out really well. You wanna make sure that no water is dripping from your shirt. Now you're gonna prep your shirt to do a tie-dye technique. Go ahead and lay your shirt out and put your finger in the middle of the shirt. We're gonna create a spiral. You're gonna slowly twist the shirt, very slowly, until you create that spiral. So I decided to do this on top of a towel, which makes it a little more difficult to create the spiral. It will be easier if you do this on a flat, slick surface or on top of a plastic covering. So you're gonna keep spinning until you get that spiral. Once you get that spiral, you're gonna go ahead and take your rubber bands and rubber band straight across. You'll take your second rubber band and do the opposite direction. You're gonna do it a couple more times. I decided to do a rubber band per color that I'm using. Once that's done, you're gonna make sure that the rubber bands are secure. You can tuck in any loose pieces of the shirt onto the ends of the rubber band until it looks as close to a perfect circle as possible. Be sure to have a center point for your rubber bands on both sides. Now it's time to dye. Go ahead and take your first color and dye one section. You're then gonna take the color and do the opposite section as well. You'll flip your shirt over and do the same sides. Then you'll take your second color and do the same thing. You're going to dye each section different colors until the shirt is complete. Make sure to do front and back and to get the sides really well. And you can never use too much dye. If you wanna use your entire bottle, then use your entire bottle. Your shirt should look like this as the end result. Now you're gonna take a Ziploc bag or plastic bag and put the shirt inside. You're gonna let your shirt sit in this plastic bag for six to eight hours or you can let it sit overnight. I decided to let mine sit overnight and now it's time to take it out of the bag and you're gonna remove all the rubber bands. It might be best if you wear gloves just in case so the dye doesn't get on your fingers. As you can see, this shirt turned out really cool. You can see the spiral that was created from us spinning our shirt. And the colors are pretty vibrant. So now we're gonna take our shirt and we're gonna rinse it out in cold water. You're gonna rinse it out until the water runs clear. Once that's complete, you can lay your shirt out to dry. It's best to lay your shirt out on top of a towel for a couple of hours. Note, you're going to want to wash your shirt for the first three times in a cold setting by itself. I hope you guys get to make some incredible shirts at home and you enjoyed today's craft. Thank you and have a wonderful Wednesday.